Picture this. A serene afternoon at Buckingham Palace, the sun casting a golden glow over the historic grounds. Suddenly, the tranquility is shattered by an announcement that sends shockwaves through the royal family and the entire nation. Welcome viewers to my channel, please subscribe, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. Princess Anne, known for her steadfast dedication and no-nonsense attitude, has made a decision that no one saw coming. She has publicly endorsed Catherine, the Princess of Wales, as a pivotal figure in Prince William's grand plan for the future of the monarchy. But what led to this surprising endorsement, and what does it mean for the future of the British royal family? Princess Anne, often dubbed the hardest working royal, has always been a pillar of strength and tradition within the royal family. Her decision to support Catherine in such a significant role marks a dramatic shift in the royal dynamics. This move is not just about recognizing Catherine's capabilities but also about preparing the monarchy for the challenges of the modern world. But what exactly does this new direction entail? and how did it come about? In a candid and heartfelt statement, Princess Anne expressed her confidence in Catherine's ability to lead and support Prince William in his vision for the monarchy. Catherine has shown remarkable resilience and dedication, qualities that are essential for the future of our family and our nation, Anne declared. This endorsement comes at a time when the monarchy is facing unprecedented scrutiny and the need for modernization. But what specific qualities does Catherine bring to the table? and how will she navigate her new responsibilities? Catherine's journey from a commoner to the Princess of Wales has been nothing short of extraordinary. Her grace, poise, and commitment to her royal duties have won her admiration from people around the world. But her path has not been without challenges. From navigating the intense media scrutiny to balancing her roles as a mother and a royal, Catherine's story is one of resilience and determination. How has her background prepared her for this new role? and what lessons can we learn from her journey? Prince William, the Duke of Cambridge, has long been seen as a modern and forward-thinking royal. His vision for the future of the monarchy involves a more streamlined and relatable royal family, one that resonates with the public and addresses contemporary issues. With Catherine by his side, William's plan is to bring a fresh perspective to the monarchy while honoring its rich traditions. But what specific changes can we expect from their leadership, and how will they balance tradition with innovation? The public's reaction to Princess Anne's endorsement has been a mix of surprise, excitement, and curiosity. Many see this as a positive step towards a more relatable and modern monarchy. Social media has been abuzz with discussions, memes, and heartfelt messages of support. It's about time we see a younger generation take the lead, tweeted one royal fan. However, not everyone is on board. Some traditionalists worry about the implications of such a significant change. Will this move strengthen the monarchy or dilute its historical essence? To understand the significance of this transition, it's essential to look back at previous royal handovers. The British monarchy has seen its fair share of abdications, regencies, and power shifts. From King Edward VIII's abdication to Mary Wallace Simpson to Queen Elizabeth II's long and stable reign, each transition has left its mark on history. How will Princess Anne's decision compare? Will it be seen as a bold move towards modernization or a controversial break from tradition? Beyond the public and political implications, this decision also sheds light on the personal dynamics within the royal family. Princess Anne's relationship with Catherine has evolved over the years. From the early days of Catherine's courtship with Prince William to her roles as a mother and senior royal, their bond has grown stronger. This endorsement is not just a strategic move but also a testament to the trust and respect between them. How will this new dynamic play out in the public eye? As Catherine steps into her new role, the future of the British monarchy looks both promising and challenging. She brings a fresh perspective, a deep sense of duty, and a modern approach to her responsibilities. However, she also faces the daunting task of balancing tradition with innovation. How will she navigate this delicate balance? What new initiatives and changes can we expect from her leadership? Princess Anne's decision has not only captured the attention of the British public but also sparked reactions from monarchies around the world. From Europe to the Middle East, royal families are watching closely. Some see this as a potential blueprint for their own transitions, while others remain skeptical. How will this move influence global perceptions of the British monarchy? Will it set a precedent for other royal families? The media has been in a frenzy since the announcement, with headlines ranging from supportive to speculative. Tabloids, 
news channels, and online platforms are all vying for the latest scoop. Rumors and theories abound, from potential abdications to behind-the-scenes power struggles. Amidst the noise, one thing is clear, the world is watching every move of the royal family. How will they manage the media spotlight and maintain their privacy? In today's digital age, the public's engagement with the monarchy has taken on new dimensions. Social media platforms provide a direct line of communication between the royals and their followers. This transition offers an opportunity for Catherine and Prince William to connect with the public in unprecedented ways. How will they leverage this engagement to strengthen their bond with the people? What role will the public play in shaping the future of the monarchy? The challenges ahead, navigating controversies and criticisms. No transition is without its challenges, and this one is no exception. Catherine and Prince William will undoubtedly face controversies and criticisms as they step into their new roles. From political pressures to public scrutiny, they will need to navigate a complex landscape. How will they address these challenges? What strategies will they employ to maintain their integrity and uphold the values of the monarchy? As Princess Anne steps back from some of her duties, it's an opportune moment to reflect on her contributions. Her efforts to modernize the monarchy, her dedication to charitable causes, and her unwavering commitment to her royal duties have left a lasting impact. How will history remember Princess Anne? What lessons can future generations learn from her leadership? The British monarchy is entering a new chapter. With Catherine and Prince William at the helm, the future looks bright and full of possibilities. Their leadership will shape the monarchy for years to come, blending tradition with modernity in a way that resonates with the public. As we look ahead, let's embrace this change with optimism and curiosity. What do you think about Princess Anne's decision to endorse Catherine in such a significant role? Do you see this as a positive step towards modernization, or do you have concerns about the future of the monarchy? Share your thoughts in the comments below and join the conversation. Let's keep the discussion going and explore the many facets of this historic transition together. This article provides a comprehensive look at Princess Anne's surprising decision and the implications for the future of the British monarchy. By blending storytelling, historical context, and personal insights, it aims to engage readers and spark meaningful discussions. Feel free to share your thoughts and join the conversation.